Introducing Jacob the Iceberg So Cool, he's blue. And in your face, Ignace, a blizzard of a lizard. Yo, let's move it and break dance. Everybody moonwalk. Everybody spin. Everybody fly. Oh, Jacob, no flying in the house. Yeah, besides, break dancers don't fly. Uh oh. Well, how about a handstand? Well, handstands are cool. Woohoo! Then here I go. Woo wee! <laughs> Look at me! Oh, hey, wait a minute. What's this? What? Ugh, this big thing. Ha! Huh. We were so busy dancing, we didn't even see it. It's a piano. A, a piano. piano! What's it doing here? Yeah, how did you get it up the stairs? Yeah, whose is it anyway? Is it ours? Can we play? Does it work? Whoa! The movers just brought it up the stairs a few minutes ago. It oh. belongs to Uncle Jack, but he's going to leave it here for a few months while he's away. Wow, no oh. kidding. Here in the apartment? Mm-hmm. The Higgins Family Piano. It used to belong to my grandmother. Oh, did you play it when you were a little girl? Well, no, I had a few lessons, Jacob, but I never really learned to play. Anybody can play the piano. Well, except me, of course. I play guitar. Well, the only thing I ever play is the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, I've always kind of wished I'd stuck with those lessons. Well, I've never had lessons, and listen to this. Composition number one, The Last Bird Seed by Jacob Blue. Well, how did you like it? I'm at a loss for words. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> now, now do you see why I don't need lessons? Ah, uh, well, um... Not really. But if you want to take lessons, Hall, why don't you? You don't think it's too late for me to get back to lessons? No, no, no of course not. Well, my grandma would be thrilled. Sure. I mean, she used to be a piano teacher. Huh? Say, so I wonder if she knows of anyone around here who could give me lessons. Why don't you ask her? Well, you know, I think I will. I think I'm going to call her up right now. Hey, 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 where'd he go, Holly? Who wants to hear another one of my compositions? Not me. Oh, oh excuse me, Jacob, huh? it's my turn. Oh. Really? Oh, Grandma, that would be terrific. Uh-huh. Okay, this, this afternoon is great. Okay, I will. That was uh, good. Gloria. No kidding. Thank you. Huh. Well, guess what? My first piano lesson is this afternoon. Boy, that was fast. Mm -hmm. Grandma knows of a wonderful pianist who lives just around the corner and can give me lessons starting today. Wow. That's great. Imagine me playing the piano. What a hoot. Uh, yeah, you can show us what you learn when you come back. Oh. Well, yes, I can. And uh, I better get going because mm -hmm. my first lesson is in half an hour. Oh, well, I'll go downstairs with you. Me too. Are you coming, Iggy? No, you go ahead. I'll be right down. <laughs> Gee, you know, pianos are pretty neat. Now, look, there's white keys and black keys and, and foot pedals down there. And ah, it even looks like the top opens up. I wonder what's in there. How was your piano lesson? It was interesting. My piano teacher is really nice. His name is John Kimura Parker, and ah. he plays piano concerts all over the world. He Ooh. must be famous. What did he teach you? Yeah, play something for us. Yeah. All right. That was a short piece. What was it called? Middle C. Now listen to this. Now that was interesting. Mm. Yes, I, I liked it. A bit longer, too. Mm -hmm. Those were all the C notes. You only learned the C notes? Is that all? No, I, I also learned about the black keys and the white keys and the foot pedals. Oh. Well, what songs did you learn? Well, before I can learn any songs, Jacob, I have to learn about the notes and how to read music. Huh? Well, look at this. This is the piece I'm working on. <clears throat> okay, there. Ooh, what kind of letters are those? Well, they're not letters, they're notes. Musical notes. Ah, they look like little ants going up and down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. This is how the music looks for Mary Had a Little Lamb. Is it hard to learn the piano? Certainly a lot harder than I remember. Well, it's easy for me. Yeah, move over, Jake. Huh? Oh. Yeah, let, let a genius show you how to play. <laughs> <laughs>
That was incredible. Mm. I didn't know that you could play. I can't. Then you are a genius. No, no, no. I was just pretending to play. It was really Bartholomew. What? Bartholomew? Bartholomew who? Bartholomew Mouse, I'd like you to meet my roommates. This is Holly. Hello. Hello. And this is Jacob and Gloria. Hi. Hi. Well, nice to meet you. Yeah, I found Bartholomew in the piano. Wow. What were you doing in the piano? I live here. My family has lived in this piano for ages. Were you really playing instead of Iggy? Yep, from inside the piano. It was very good. Oh, thank you. I love piano music. So does Baxter. Who's he? My best buddy, the Mouse Meister. He used to live next door. We played piano together every day. Or at least we did. What happened to him? Oh, he went to get us a pizza for lunch. Small combination with extra cheese. And while he was gone, the movers came and moved the piano with me in it. Whoa, that's too bad. Yeah, I never got a chance to leave a note or eat my half of the pizza. Maybe he's still at Uncle Jack's house where he used to be before you came here. Hey, let's phone him uh -huh. and find out. Good idea, Egg. Hey, if he's there, will you please tell him where I am? Yeah, no problem. Hmm, no answer. I'll let it ring for a while. Baxter and I have been playing together for a long time. It's gonna be pretty quiet without him. Well, not for long. Holly's just started piano lessons. Hey, I can keep the piano tuned for you. Well, thanks anyway, Bartholomew, but I don't think I'm going to be learning to play the piano after all. Why not? Well, it's just that um, I think that it would take a lot more time than I had expected and uh, certainly isn't as easy as it looks. It wasn't easy for Horowitz Higgins either. Horowitz Higgins? Holly's grandfather's cousin, a great classical pianist. He practiced on this very piano. Really? And my grandfather's cousin, Del Marmouse, kept him going when times were tough. Horowitz had his problems. Trouble keeping the beat, for one thing. And <laughs> no wonder, the hall where they had to rehearse was pretty cold sometimes. Oh, it is so cold I can't stop my teeth from chattering. Why don't you just take them out? Why? Funny, Delma. Would you like to borrow my hot water bottle? Oh, I wouldn't mind. Be my guest. Ah, thank you, Delma. Ah, that's better. Good. <sighs> now let's get back to work. Where would I be without you, Delma? Off the beat, most likely. <laughs> let's try it again. <sighs> and a one, and a two, and a three. Soon Horowitz and Del Mar were playing concerts all over the world. Just like my piano teacher. Well, I had no idea that I was related to such a famous pianist. Well, you are. Horowitz Higgins, one of the best. Uh, there's still no answer at Uncle Jack's house. What would Baxter do when he came back and you weren't there? Well, first of all, he'd probably eat the pizza. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Then I guess he'd start looking for me. Well, hey, we could look for him, too. Then we could get you guys back together for a visit. Yeah. Oh, boy. And you know, Bartholomew, maybe in the meantime, you could keep this piano in tune for me. Holly, are you going to give it another try? Yes, I am. The way I see it, if Horowitz could do it, so can I. Yay! Go good time. to go. Way to go. Good, good. Mm -hmm. uh, why does this seem so hard? Well, how do I look? Like a detective. Well, that's good. That'll help us get into the right mood. Detective Iggy on the trail of Baxter Mouse. <laughs> Hello, is this Pete's Pizza Parlor? I wonder why Baxter hasn't called us. We've mm. left messages all over the place. I'm sure he's looking for me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, thank you very much. Ain't luck, Jake? He did go to the pizza place. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Now, we know that for sure. Uh-huh. 
And he got a small combination with extra cheese. Ooh, they do good pizza there, and it's very handy. Uh -huh. Right next door to Baxter's place. Right next door? Hey, let's get a map just like real detectives. Ah! What? My fingers won't work. Sounds okay, Hal. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, right? Wrong. Uh-oh. I'm not getting anywhere. That's what Honky Tonk Higgins said. Who was Honky Tonk Higgins? A man or a mouse? Neither. Honky Tonk was a woman. And boy, was she cool. She was hip. She was jazz. She had to play a lot of dingy dives, but her side mouse, Diamond Bill, didn't seem to mind. Okay, let's take it again from the top. Oh, Bill. <sighs> I'm so tired of all these cheesy joints. Well, cheesy's never bothered me. You want some extra nippy? No, thanks. I'd rather have blue. Goes with the way I feel. Honky Tonk, you've got what it takes. You just have to keep at it. Come on, let's play. A one and a two. It wasn't long before their names were up in lights. Diamond Bill Mouse and Honky Tonk Q Higgins. What did the Q stand for? Well, nobody ever knew. Oh. Hmm. Well, I guess it didn't stand for quitter. Nope, she sure wasn't a quitter. And neither am I. Mary had a little lamb, right? Right! Hey! Keep yeah. at it, Hall! Go, Holly! Yes. getting a little hard to listen to? Oh, not with the earmuffs on. They blocked the sound right out. I see. Oh, we're glad you're learning to play Holly, really. Well, we think it's great. Yeah, and we don't mind listening to you play the same thing over and over and over and over and over. But wearing earmuffs gives you a bit of a break. Uh, oh, right. Ah, right. <laughs> oh, well, we do share this apartment, and I have been practicing a lot lately. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Want to see our map? Oh. Yeah, of course I do. What are all the little flags for? Well, they mark everywhere Baxter's been since he went for the pizza, see? Yeah, Uncle Jack's house and Pete's Pizza Parlor, uh, Monroe's Music Store, Charlie's Cheese Store. Yeah, in the park. And we're going to go back to the park and look for more clues. Yeah, you want to come? Mm, thank you, but I think I better stay in practice. Hmm. Although the park is nice this time of year. Yeah. Nice, nice and, and quiet. quiet. Let's go. <laughs> Don't mind them, Holly. I think you're doing great. Do you really think so, Bartholomew? Thanks. But it is hard to get practicing time in when you live in an apartment with others, you know? Well, just be glad you're not Hagar. Don't tell me. Hagar Higgins? Yep. She came from Scotland, and boy, did she love to play. She practiced every day. <laughs> I guess, how can I concentrate when you play your wee bagpipes all the time? Ugh, oh, doesn't it sound grand? It's too loud! But I have to practice too. Aye, true enough. Couldn't we come to some kind of arrangement? Ugh, oh, I guess you're brilliant! An arrangement for piano and bagpipes! Aye, you practice in the morning, 
and I'll practice in the afternoon. Ach, no. I mean a musical arrangement for piano and bagpipes. Together! Oh, that would be grand. <laughs> You see, it wasn't so easy at first, but they worked it out, and Hagar wrote lots of pieces, especially for piano and bagpipes. That's wonderful. Thank you for telling me about our musical relatives, Bartholomew. They didn't give up. No, they didn't. concert. Oh, sold out. Oh, huh, that's your piano teacher. Mm-hmm. Isn't that too bad? I'd love to have gone to it. Huh. I could really use a bit of a boost right now. Mm. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? What, what, what? Holly got an important letter. Ooh. It has special stamps on yeah. it. Thank you. Oh, special delivery. Uh-huh. And we heard about Baxter. Oh, yeah? Huh? We heard that he was looking for Bartholomew at the fire station. Oh. And when we went to the fire station to find him, uh -huh. they said he'd left to help the school bus driver. So we left a message for him. Listen, you guys. What? John Kimura Parker has sent us tickets for his concert tonight. Wow! Whoa. Listen to this. Dear Holly, these tickets are for you and your friends. Be sure to come backstage and say hello before the concert. John. We can all get to meet him. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go get ready. Right, let's, ready. let's go. <laughs> wow, you sounded so good. I you were a tape recording. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, no, really, I didn't expect to see a person sitting there. Well, thank you. I didn't expect to see a... Uh... Oh, oh, a mouse, a uh, Baxter mouse. Hi there, Baxter. I'm John Kimura Parker. Oh, nice to know you, John. I, I think you're good enough to play professionally. Well, uh, actually... No, 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 really. I was just passing by in a school bus and I heard you playing. I had to get off and come in. I know a lot about pianos, you know. Really? Mm -hmm, sure, I live in one. <laughs> so does my buddy. We play together every day. Well, at least we did. We we kind of lost touch. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, we're pretty good together, but you're even better. Say, have you ever thought of giving a concert? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I'm playing tonight. Huh? See? <gasps> that's me. Hey, cool! Would you like to stick around and listen? <gasps> Could I? Sure. <sighs> I better go and get changed. Oh, okay. Say, I'll give the piano one last tune-up before the concert. No charge. Great. See you later. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. <laughs> okay, let's see. <sighs> oh, looks like this is it. There's his name on the door. Oh, yeah. John Kimura Parker. That's him. Right. Well, here goes. Okay. Yes? Holly, oh. you made it. Yes, John, thank you so much for the tickets. We were just thrilled to get them. You're very welcome. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. John, I'd like you to meet my roommates. This is Iggy. Nice to meet you, Iggy. Yeah, I play guitar. Great. Right? And this is Jacob. You could play one of my piano compositions one day, if you like. I'd love to. Holly told me about them. They sound very, uh, modern. Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> and this is Gloria. Hello. Could I have your autograph, please? Sure. Thank you. Just put, to Gloria, with all my love. 
Thank you. Yeah, Holly's piano playing is getting really good. Uh -huh. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm trying. Yeah, she practices every day. Good. So do I. Huh? Really? You still need to practice? Sure. Sometimes I'm learning a new piece. Sometimes I have to brush up on an old one. And sometimes I just like to fool around. <laughs> Did you take lessons? Of course. And I still learn new things about music every day. Hmm. Are you getting nervous? There's lots of people out there. Yeah, well, you know, I usually get a little bit nervous before a concert. But that's good. It makes me kind of excited about going out there and doing my best. Well, John, we really should let you get ready now. Right. Uh -huh. But thanks for letting us come backstage. Yeah, boy, it was neat. It sure was. Bye. Bye. Enjoy the concert. Okay. Oh, we and will. Thank you, John. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thanks for saving our seats for us, Bartholomew. Ah, oh, no problem. Wow, we got a box all to ourselves? <laughs> yeah, but this program's really hard to read. That's because you're reading it upside down. Huh? Oh, <laughs> I knew that. Oh, look at this. John's going to be playing Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. I love that. Oh, can you see all right, Bartholomew? Oh, yes, sir. Thanks for inviting me along, everybody. Jacob, Iggy, don't lean over so far. You might fall. Hello down there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, everything's growing dark. Shh, it's starting. <gasps> hey, look, there he is. <gasps> hey, John, we're up here. Shh, Jacob. What? Shh. Wonderful to be able to play like that. I'm glad you got together again. Yeah. So, Baxter, where 
Where were you? Uh, we looked all over the place. We left messages everywhere. No, I'm sorry about that. I was too busy looking for Bartholomew to check for messages. The last we heard, you were riding a school bus. Yeah, yeah it's a great way to check out the neighborhood when you're looking for someone. And easier on the feet. Oh, you said it, Holly. School buses are cool. Yeah, except for the bumpy roads once I almost dropped the pizza. The pizza? The same one you went to get us three weeks ago? Well, just your half, Bart. Gee, thanks. Oh, this will be Grandma returning my call. Hello? Oh, hi, Grandma. No, no, I'm fine. I, I just um, have a little surprise for you. Well, remember how I started piano lessons a few weeks ago? Okay, well, I want you to just sit down, get comfortable, relax, and um, listen to something, okay? Okay, just, just a minute. Here goes. Loved it. <laughs> yes. I will, Grandma. Okay. All right. Okay, thanks. I love you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Did she think that you played well? She did. Oh, I knew she would. And she told me to keep up the good work. John Kimura Parker may play to thousands of fans, but I have a number one fan, my Grandma. I guess all your hard work really paid off, Hall. I guess so. Yes, sir. Everything's paid off. Yeah, except me. <laughs> Bartholomew still hasn't paid for his share of the pizza. <laughs> hey, get a, get a pizza paid for. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh. Hey, Thanks for more, Holly. Oh, I, 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 I,